Hi, it's Alex. I want to talk today about cultural views on male attraction to the female body. I'm talking mostly from experience here. For the most part, I'm a straight male, and so I have a lot of experience with feeling attracted to the female body. But the way I hear people talk about this type of attraction is often really different from how I experience it. And I think that the way people talk about attraction can kind of condition people to act on that attraction in certain ways. One of the things that I hear often in our society, and I especially hear it when people are talking about women wearing revealing clothing, is that I hear people talk about the female body as if it is inherently tempting to men. Like, seeing the female body will lead men to have certain types of thoughts, and they're often labeled as, like, impure thoughts, or dirty thoughts, or things like that. There are all sorts of levels on which I don't like this. First of all, I really dislike the idea of viewing sexuality and sexual thoughts and feelings as impure or dirty. This is this whole sort of sex negativity, and I think it's really pernicious. I don't think that there's anything inherently good or bad about feelings. I think that what matters more is how you act on feelings, how you channel those feelings. So if you're just feeling attracted to a person, if you start to feel turned on, that's not inherently good or bad. What can be good or bad, though, is how you act on that attraction. So for example, if you feel attracted to someone and you feel turned on, and you act on that by harassing that person, or making disrespectful comments to them, I think we'd all agree that that's bad. On the other hand, if you react to that by paying attention to them in a respectful way, and you respect their boundaries, if they express a boundary to you, if they express that they want to be left alone, then I think that that's a good thing. You found like a healthy way to act on those feelings of attraction. So this whole narrative about the female body being like inherently tempting, or like inherently leading men to do bad things, I think it really confounds the idea of responsibility for one's actions, and I think it sidesteps this really important dialogue and this really important thing to learn about how people act on their feelings, how people channel their feelings. There's also a level on which it really bothers me the way people talk about women revealing their bodies being like inherently bad, because the way I think of the female body is I think it's a very good thing. Like, I'm definitely very comforted not just by seeing female bodies, but by seeing human bodies in general. Like, I like people, and I like it when people show off more of their body, and I especially like it if it's someone that I find attractive. Uh, I find it comforting, like, I find it, it's kind of relaxing to look at someone that I find attractive, and it, it makes me feel good. Like, it's, it's not something that I feel is, like, dangerously distracting, and I don't feel like it leads me to have bad thoughts. Like, if anything, like, it might make it easy for me to sort of fall into sort of daydreaming about being, like, physically close to someone, but I don't think that that's a bad thing at all. Like, I actually think physical intimacy is a good thing, and, like, physical touch, caring physical touch, and, like, if I find someone attractive and I start fantasizing about them, like, that's probably just gonna make me feel, like, comfortable and relaxed and happy, and if anything, it's gonna lower my anxiety level, and I find that when I have a higher anxiety level in social settings, I'm actually more likely to overstep boundaries, and more likely to act disrespectfully towards people, more likely to lose my temper or snap at people, more likely to just be rude. So if I'm feeling like happy and comfortable and relaxed, I think I'm more likely to treat other people in a positive way. And so, when people talk about it being inherently bad for women to show off their bodies because it leads men to do, like, disrespectful or bad things, I'm just like, that's friggin' ridiculous. My experience is the opposite. And I think it has to do with how I experience my sexuality, and how I've learned to sort of channel it and express it. And I wish that as a society, instead of just berating women for showing off their bodies, we would start talking about how we express sexuality. 
And I wish that we could embrace a more sex-positive way of looking at things, like viewing sexuality, sexual attraction, feelings of attraction are being turned on, as a good thing. And I think that if we did that, it could have some really profound positive impacts for people. I think that there's a relationship between this and body image. Like, if I were going through the day feeling like I needed to cover up my body, because if I revealed my body, it would lead other people to have bad thoughts and to do bad things. If I really felt that and believed that about my body, I think I would feel pretty terrible about my body, and I would feel pretty terrible about myself. If, on the other hand, I thought of my body as something that other people were likely to appreciate and find comforting, and that was likely to evoke in other people affectionate and caring thoughts, which, by the way, that's how I feel about the bodies of people that I find attractive, if I felt that way about my own body, and I, that was the way I believed things worked, I would feel really good about myself. I'd be like, oh hey, like, I'm going through my day, and like, people can see me, whether I'm wearing more clothes or less clothes, and I would just feel good. And so I think about this, and I think about the message that we send to girls and women. And it's pretty obvious to me that there's a relationship between this sort of narrative that we tell about women displaying their bodies, leading men to think bad thoughts. I think there's a relationship between that and negative body image and negative self-esteem in women and girls. And I really want to start breaking that down. So I want to throw this out there. I think that how you respond to sexual attraction, how you channel those feelings, is ultimately what matters, like how you act. Uh, I don't think there's anything inherently bad, anything inherently impure or dirty about sexual feelings, about being attracted to someone, about feeling turned on. I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it's neutral. And I think that you can learn to condition it, to channel those feelings in a positive way. And I think as a society, if we started doing that, we would start feeling better about our bodies. And I think this is especially true for women. I think it's true to a degree, to, for men too, probably not as big a degree. So that's what I have to say right now. Uh, I'd love to hear from you if you have anything to add, if you have any questions or comments, please share. And as always, I love when people share my videos and subscribe. Thank you.